Welcome to the course on Sports Injury Analytics. My name is Telios and I will be your tutor for this course. I'm a data scientist and a statistician and have worked in the areas of sports analytics, neural networks and machine learning. I hold a master's in informatics from the University of Edinburgh and a PhD in computer science from University College London. I have worked with teams in the Premier League for building predictive models for injuries. This is the structure of this course. The first four lectures deal with some general subjects, while in lectures 5, 6 and 7 we're gonna build statistical and machine learning models in order to study injuries. The eighth lecture is the summary of the course. Sports analytics is defined as the application of data science to sports. The field was popularized to a wider audience through the film Moneyball. Moneyball was the first successful case of sports analytics. The coach Billy Bain, with the help of his assistant Peter Brandt, managed to get Oakland A's from the bottom to the finals. They did, that, they did that by using statistics in order to find undervalued players and create an excellent team on a budget. Data is overtaking the world. Now, in finance, we have algorithms doing the trading for us. In retail, we have recommender systems. And in medicine, now we have IBM Watson to have the doctors make decisions. Data analysis in sports before Moneyball was pretty much non-existent. Clubs would collect all kinds of statistics, but they would not apply any statistical modeling or anything resembling machine learning. Moneyball basically brought sports up to speed with the rest of the data-driven field. Data science and data have become the hottest buzzwords. Why is that? First of all, the availability of data has increased rapidly in the last couple of decades. Not only we now have increased storage capabilities, but also it's easier to collect data. For example, in sports, we have wearable GPS units that, are, that are, can record not only the position of the players on the pitch, but also things such as the acceleration and deceleration. Things like that were not available uh, in the past. Also, we now have increased computing power, so it's possible to run more advanced statistical and machine learning algorithms which we couldn't do in the past. For example, Bayesian statistics has increased rapidly in popularity due to the fact that now we can run Markov chain Monte Carlo on basically on a simple laptop. This thing was unimaginable for example, in the 80s. But the real reason data science is so successful is because of the value it can provide in a variety of contexts. There are two main points. First, using data and data science, we can uncover insights which would not otherwise be available. Secondly, using predictive modeling, we can answer very specific questions. So we can answer questions such as when a player is going to get injured or which team is most likely to win a game. Or in other fields, in finance, for example, uh, what is the best portfolio for the next two months, given a current, some, current, some constraints. You can immediately see that this is a more effective way to process data than just looking at dashboards and graphs or like in the case of clubs, statistics, simple, simple statistics and numbers. So, let's see some examples. Opta and Prozone are the two main players in the field of data collection in soccer. Both companies collect lots and lots of statistics about what's taking place on pitch. Things such as the position of each individual player or where a pass took place and where uh, a shot was actually heading to. This clearly opens up new possibilities for coaching, scouting 
and medicine. For example, a coach might be interested in predicting the opponent's patterns of movement and try to find the best tactics to counter these patterns. A scout might be more interested in evaluating a player's play off the ball. A doctor might be more interested in assessing whether a player's movement on pitch affects his probability of getting injured or getting fatigued. Sports analytics has been gaining lots of traction. The MIT Sloan School of Management is now holding an annual conference on sports analytics. SAP, the analytics firm SAP, made headlines when it helped Germany win the World Cup in 2014. Similarly, SAS has recently released a report of regarding the value of analytics in sports. While the Innovation Enterprise is holding an industrial conference in sports analytics every year in London.